Okay, today we're going to learn how to use an online canvas or bulletin board, whichever one you prefer to use. Let me start by logging in. Okay. Now this is something that you can use in class or at a book club. And now as you can see here, I already have a book club in here, but let's start another canvas so that you can see. Create a new canvas. Okay, let's name this one uh, English 3 class readings. Okay, and let's give it a color. Let's do a pretty green, lime green. Now, I want the stickies, we're going to go public with this. I want the stickies, I want everyone to see them, and I want students to be able to post their own, maybe comment on some of the books that they see on here. Okay. Notify me, show this canvas on the doc, create sticky via email. Okay, let's go yes with all of these. Now let's create the canvas and here you go. Now here are all your options. Let's start, and by the way, this is very easy to use and it's free online the first 15 minutes after that you upgrade for a longer period of time you have to pay let's start with a let's start with a photo okay let's browse what do I have here now earlier I had downloaded let's search book pick there it is I had downloaded something that I wanted to use so let's open that up and there it is okay and here you can make it a small picture a medium a large let's go with a medium post it and there it is isn't that cool okay let's say that I wanted to show my students reading one of these books okay pictures I know they're in here somewhere. <laughs> no, 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 too far. <laughs> okay, let's try another route here. Okay, let's cancel this and let's do a post it and quote one of the books. Here's a quote from the font in our stars. Okay. Whoops. Look at that. It even does spell check for you. Okay. So let's put that in black. You want to change the color? Let's put that in blue and post it. And anything that you post here, you can drag. So here's how Lino works. Okay. Now let's say that along with the book, the quote, as a teacher, I want to put, um, I want to add an assignment to this. So I can always create an assignment in Word documents, go in there, let's see what I have here, go in there and um, add that as well. Okay, I'm going to just show you with this right here because I don't have one, but you can drag it, name it whatever you'd like, download it, the kids have access to it. That's an attachment. You can do the same thing with, let's say, a YouTube video. You want to put in, um, let's see, you want to add, 
The Fault in Our Stars. Oops, it's not going to work. The trailer to entice these kids. Okay, and there's the official trailer. And what you need is you need the URL. Let's copy the URL. We have a choice in this world. Close it. Take it back to my. Oh, there it is. Paste. And voila, there it is. Now, bring it down a little lower. Now, let's see if it works. I believe we have a choice in this world on how to tell sad stories. How neat is that? There's so much you can do with Lino, and it's so easy to create. Let's go back to. Okay, let's see what I had in book club. Um, now, this is also very good to use at the beginning of the year for introductions. You have all the students um, log in, create their accounts on their own devices, or if you have access to iPads, create their accounts and they can create their introductions. Here is mine. There I am, my husband, my kids, things I like, books I love. pictures of students really easy to do lots of things you can do with Lino so uh, there you go I hope you guys enjoyed the brief lesson thanks